Hey everybody! I know it's been a while since I've made a video, but I'm in school right now and I, I have no time left. Anyways, if you have a hyperstar system and your stars are way out of whack, even after you try culminating it, it could be that your corrector plate needs adjustment. Now, I'm not going to make a whole video on how to do that. Uh, there are a couple uh, good videos already on the internet, and I will put them there. One's by Ray, uh, Ray's Astrophotography. But I want to do an update because I was talking with uh, Dean over at uh, Star Arizona, and apparently over in the last couple of years, Celestron has made how you adjust it a little bit different. Uh, from what Ray described. Ray and the other link that I'll provide, the recommended adjustment, adjusting the corrector plate by removing, by adjusting the four screws that are on the outside. There's one here, one here, one here, and one here. And then you just loosen this uh, holder plate, which is what you sort of still do, except uh, the change is this, that you have to actually take this, these, there's like four push, these push pin screws, whoops. Naturally I dropped it. There's four of these little push pin screws that you gotta completely remove. And then you make the adjustments on the uh, corrector plate. Uh, then you can adjust the corrector plate with the inner screws. And then you put these outer push pin screws back in and they sort of, they hold it in place so that's all i really wanted to say i'll show you what uh what the image is supposed what a corrector plate properly lined corrector plate is supposed to look like uh, and one other thing is i think ray used a camera in order to um get the fine adjustments i just did it with my eye. Uh, Dean recommended doing this. Dean from Star Arizona. He said, yeah, I just step back and do it with my eye and make adjustments. But you could do it with a camera too. Okay, well, here I am outside. I already did it visually. I already aligned the corrector plate, but I wanted to check it with the camera. So this is what it looks like. And you can see the these things. This is the main baffle. This is the secondary baffle and then this is the secondary baffle reflection but the main thing is these circles got have to be equal all the way around it's very hard to do uh, with the camera believe it or not because uh, every little perturbation adjusted so i think it might be easier to do it visually although that's that wasn't too easy either but it does look a lot better now than it did before I started. So the question is, I made it better, but did I make it better enough? So we won't know that until it clears up and I don't know when that's gonna be, so. Also, yeah, again, Dean from Star Arizona was very helpful with this. Uh, he, they, he emailed me within a day and sent me pictures back and forth and then I actually called him and I was talking with him for a while so he was guiding me through this so I really appreciate that uh, anyways hope you enjoyed it and good luck if you have to do this uh, hopefully hopefully your corrector plate's fine and you don't have to screw around with this but in case your stars really aren't coming out well like mine uh, you might have to do this okay well I think that's all and we'll see you later